Today at the Boot Guy, we are looking at the Under Armour Fat Tire GTX. Now in 2014, when the fat tire was previewed, it really was a game changer. This boot really changed the whole idea of what people thought was possible in the boot market. Now in 2014, you gotta think, we were just getting started in the whole renaissance of heritage type boots. Though they've been around for a while, it was really becoming a thing. There was momentum growing around that market. But this market, of new innovations, new technology, and new way of welding materials together was just about to take off. So like I said, the fat tire is not a new boot. In fact, it might look like a futuristic space boot to you, but all the technology going into this thing is at least a decade old. The ability to take two materials, adhere them together to create the upper, that's old technology. The BOA, which seems like it's brand new. If you've never seen BOA before, you're looking at it thinking, man, that's funny looking. BOA has been around now for 12, 15 years. This whole system has existed in other facets, in fly fishing boots, in cycling shoes, in motorcycle and motocross boots. They've been using BOA for a really long time. And it's not, and it's not until recently that BOA has made its way into backpacks and just basic outdoor shoes. So what makes the fat tire the fat tire? Well, it's the Michelin sole. The top layer of this sole is some mixture of rubber and urethane that Michelin, that Michelin and Under Armour have worked out together that is extremely grippy. Now I have to say, me reviewing this boot is not on my own. I've had many requests from guys that actually use the fat tire as a training shoe and just as an everyday hiking boot. And they have convinced me that I needed to review this boot. So that's why I'm finally getting here. So the Michelin sole is grippy, it's sticky. It is a wonderful sole when you want traction. All those little knobs, all those little spaces, all the angular cuts all through those little sections are pure grip. Now the fat tire aesthetic, this whole big fat thing that's sitting on the bottom of your foot that looks like it's a big balloon or a big air cushion or maybe a hovercraft is basically that. That's all soft urethane. From the upper to that hard sole, that whole midsole there is a soft urethane compound that you are sitting in. Now, the thing about the fat tire that I was really surprised at is that that urethane and where your foot is actually placed in relation to that softness in the back is pretty much to the edge, but as you move forward past your arch into your forefoot and into your toe section, you are actually sitting underneath the layer of urethane. So that means that you're getting more support as you move around in the fat tire. So when we open this thing up, what we notice is that we get a Capron insole that is a urethane-based insole. It is perforated so it promotes airflow inside this boot. Because remember, we're talking Gore-Tex. Now it's not a Gore-Tex booty. The Gore-Tex actually stops at the hard footboard. It's a stitched down to Gore-Tex design all the way to the top of the upper, all the way to the bottom of the footboard. So it's not a full-footed Gore-Tex booty. So what that means is they can actually get a better shape and form inside the boot, creating a more minimalist approach to the whole design. Now the padded collar that you feel falls all the way through the whole boot. The whole upper has a beautiful padding to it. But with that padded collar, what you get is this nice cutaway in the back. And that's what promotes this boot as being more of a training boot in less of a just a hiking boot or a standing around boot. This boot is an excellent boot if you're going to really be out on the trails actually training and working out and just doing that whole cross training cross fit type activity. The fat tire is an excellent choice for that type of activity.
Let's talk about size and fit on the fat tire. Now, if you're gonna pick a pair of these up, the one thing that I would suggest if you're out in a shop is to try on your size and a half size smaller. If you plan on training in these in hot to mild weather, make sure to try it on with the type of training socks that you wear. If you're wearing nylon-based, polypropylene-based type socks that are extremely thin, extremely wicking, keeping your feet really dry, make sure to try these on with that because more likely than not, you're gonna wanna go that half size smaller because as you start to wear this boot, as you start to put pressure into this boot, it's going to stretch a little bit. It's not gonna stretch like a leather product where it starts to take on a memory. It's just gonna soften up because the more times you flex this thing, the more times you push pressure into sections, the more likely it's going to be to start to loosen up. Now, if you plan on using this thing as a pure hiking boot, actual trail hiking, actual moving around, doing a long walk in, then you're probably gonna wanna go with your size because you're not gonna be cranking them on and you're not gonna be looking for that sure-footed fit like you would if you were actually cross-training in it. So then again, make sure you try them on with the proper socks for the activity that you have the boot intended for. Now, like I said earlier, I have been getting requests for the last two years in order to review this boot. And it's about time that I got here. I am really impressed with everything that goes into the design and the function of all the Under Armour products I have reviewed so far. But the fat tire really stands out because there is an amount of technology, even though it's kind of old now, it's 2014, 2015, right at the top of when putting materials together like this was really something. But for its time, for its place in history, when it comes to modern footwear engineering, the fat tire really did carve out its own niche. So that's the Under Armour Fat Tire GTX Gore-Tex line with a BOA closure system. Hey, if you're currently wearing one of the fat tires, please comment below and let guys know what you think about it. If you've owned them in the past and you were either happy or unhappy with them, also comment below and just give guys a heads up on what to expect about this boot. If you want to see some of the detailed pictures of the BOA system, of the interior of the boot, or just the way the actual sole is attached to the upper, all the little nooks and crannies that are going on inside this boot, swing by to bootguy.com. I will have a full blog posting all about the fat tire. 
please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. You know it really helps out. If you're on Instagram or Twitter, follow me there and please check out my new Facebook page. Hey, if you're about to pick up a pair of these and you just got a few questions about size and fit and about the activity you got planned inside this boot, feel free to shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the boot guy. Thanks a lot for watching.